night. So I'm just sitting on my Saturday mornings, which are pretty low-key now that we started school and work back up. I need my Saturdays to process what's going on in the world and different things. And recently, I've just been, like in all honesty, stumped with the Old Testament. I think with everything I've learned over the past year, uh, almost a year and a half, uh, and then plus what I've been learning the past 10 years about where we are, what's going on, it just makes me look at the Bible differently, not doubting, but just differently, and more carefully. And we know the Bible says a lot more than we know it says. I think there's different things for different times, quote-unquote, air quotes. Um, and I think the whole Bible is relevant for us to know about, Old Testament and New Testament. I've always been a more of a New Testament person. I'm sorry, an Old Testament person? Whoa, look at me. That was a slip. I've been more of an Old Testament kind of person. I don't know why. I just I think it's really interesting. And like I said, now that I know more about some details, um, it's even more interesting. And like I said, it kind of stumps me. So thinking about um, Antiquitech in the Bible, I've been trying to mark in my Bible things that seem, you know, um, mud floody to me, things that seem like resets, things that seem just kind of interesting. I don't want to say odd because the Bible isn't odd, but it certainly puts a different spin on it if you try to think about it. So, for example, I'm actually in, um, I was reading th Judges on through. Uh, Judges is a very interesting book. What got me started was um, I was in a Bible study about Gideon. I particularly like I have liked the story of Gideon. Um, I didn't particularly like um, that specific, specific study that I was in. It just felt